This is the Anarchist War Donor Entry number 17, and I'm going to introduce to you Professor Engelhardt, in which I've had the pleasure of being part of his lectures on money and game theory, which of course is available on their Mises channel on YouTube for you to watch in its entirety. So without further delay. So what does uh, Austrian economics mean to you? What do you think is important um, for people to know about? Uh, I guess to me, Austrian economics provides a great way of understanding the world uh, as being composed of actual people. Right? They're making decisions and solving problems creatively, actually being people. Um, I think that's really it, understanding a human culture, right? understanding human society as we interact with each other and in economics in a very positive, voluntary way right? so that we can actually benefit from each other being around. Right, right. Nice, good. And uh, the second question would be then, what do you think of government and should it be abolished? Uh, government would has, has lots of roles. Uh, I can't think of any that are particularly positive necessarily that we can't get without it. Right, so I think that we could point to some of the good things, I guess. Okay, we have schools, but there are also private schools, which can provide the same or better services. Right. Right, we have roads. There's no reason we couldn't have roads otherwise. If I want someone to travel to me, I should provide them a way to get to me. Right. Um, it, and then we have the things that are clearly destructive. Right. So getting involved with the price system, just banning certain exchanges, whether it because, it's because the price isn't right, let's say the wage is too low or the price is too high, or just eliminating entire markets because we don't like a particular good for whatever reason. Right. We're we're standing in the way of people being people and actually right. solving their own problems. Uh, so, what do I think of government? On the whole, destructive. Yeah. <laughs> like, at best, it's replicating what we can do without it. Right, so, right. Yeah. Uh, but then this segues into then, uh, what do you think of uh, free market anarchy then? Or anarcho-capitalism? Uh, right. uh, it would be exactly the flip side of this, right? So, the way that I imagine anarchism is a society built around right, voluntary relationships including exchange right so anything we do we do because everybody involved is chosen to do it right? which suggests that we all believe it is going to be better for us right, right? and and as far as we learn we're going to be right most of the time yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then um and one more question i had i guess in terms of it is that um in terms of bitcoin is yes. uh bitcoin money i'm inclined to say not right now most places uh, it really comes down to what do I mean by money, right? So money would be a commonly accepted medium of exchange. Now there are some places where, you know, where there are lots of businesses that say yes, I'll accept Bitcoin. Lots of people say they'll accept Bitcoin. Uh, at least where I live, this is the exception much more than the rule. Uh, if I go to the grocery store and say, oh, I'd like to pay in Bitcoin, they look at me like I'm crazy, and then I have to hand the Federal Reserve right. notes just to be <laughs> done with it. Uh, so I'd say not at this point. It doesn't mean it will never be money. Um, at this point, it seems like it has a very limited um, area in which it's used, right? a right. limited community that adopts it as a medium of exchange. I guess the internet, though, kind of helps mm -hmm. with uh, that adoption, right? Overstock.com oh, yes. now accepts it. And, right. Right. Yeah, um, yeah it's there... certainly moving toward being money. I just don't think we're quite there yet. Right. Well, at least the bookstore here accepts Bitcoin, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, That's the most important thing. So. <laughs> Right. And then the last question would be then, are you an enemy of the state? Be carefully, is the camera. I guess maybe not actively, but very subversively. So, right. <laughs> in the sense that I like to spread ideas that suggest the state is unnecessary and destructive. Right. I mean, I'm not going to pick up arms against them. Right, 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 right. right. But at the same time, it's not clearly doing any good. Right. Yeah. Not so much uh, Judge Napolitano wrote and says, all right. right. I was like, well, you first, sir. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much, Professor. Right. It's oh, been yeah. a pleasure to be here at this institute oh. and uh, learning from a lot of the great uh, Austin Economist professors here. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Responsibility, yes, it's still a home. We should 
know by now that the system is designed for our demise. If we ain't rise, we'll be left behind. Dollar signs rule. But what about the fool who falls victim to the material world?